IOTA recently held its first Move Era Hackathon. It is awesome to see that the IOTA ecosystem is now in a phase where the IOTA Foundation is incentivizing builders with hackathons. And it's coming at a time where the technology is in its final form and on the mainnet. This means the builders and the community know exactly what the infrastructure will look like into the distant future. Moveathon was IOTA's hackathon and it kicked off in April and ended in May. The hackathon was focused on the builder community in Southeast Asia, but it was still open to international participants. Now, the hackathon had four tracks. Each track is a different area of focus, with each track winner receiving an $8,000 reward. Entrants who placed second and third in each track also won some prize money. The tracks included payments and consumer applications, real world applications, decentralized finance AI, and tooling and infrastructure. I watched about half of the event live and I was super happy to see the winners Hyper Agile creating an IOTA based use case for robotics. The machine to machine economy idea suddenly popped back into existence. But before we take a look at the winners, let's do a quick overview for the projects who placed second and third in each track. Zephyr placed third in the payments and consumer applications track. And it was one of the stronger pitches so it reasonably won the community favorite reward that was sponsored by the Tangle Community Treasury. Zephyr is a payment and consumer dApp. Their goal is to simplify the onboarding of Web2 users into Web3 payment systems. Zephyr provides simple things like email password login, and it enables seamless cryptocurrency payments using tap to pay You can also use QR codes and in-app transfers. It also supports tokenizing and selling digital and physical assets as NFTs without needing to have crypto expertise. The judges praised Zephyr's holistic, user-focused approach and innovative hardware prototype. The team made a point of sale hardware prototype to work with their platform, a, a POS system. I personally think this is a great initiative from the team. I thought that was really cool. However, the judges also recognized the challenge in deploying new point of sale systems versus the already established crypto based options. To attract merchants to the platform, they recommended adding incentives like loyalty programs. But overall, the execution was impressive, but adoption feasibility and go to market strategies do require some further refinement and mentorship. IOTA Builder placed second in the payments and consumer apps track with their D app called Fluxshare. Fluxshare is a decentralized payment automation platform. It automates revenue splitting and subscription management. It's aimed at content creators and digital businesses to help them manage multi-recipient payments seamlessly by providing instant settlements, ultra low fees, and transparent transaction tracking. Judges appreciated the vision for Fluxshare, but highlighted challenges with integrating traditional Web2 payment systems into Web3. They suggested that the key innovation lies in bridging fiat payments to crypto via SDKs and APIs. They highlighted that the consumer use case of shared payments was probably the most promising, and they recommended expanding Fluxshare's scope beyond creators and businesses, where in my mind, an example could be using Fluxshare to make bill splitting between friends simpler. Like when you go out for a group dinner or something like that, have some sort of app that makes it easier to split a bill. RWA and AI builders placed third in the real world applications track. RWA and AI builders developed a solution that transforms sustainable actions, things that could be considered as contributing to carbon neutrality, like biking to work, for example. It turns these actions into verifiable and tradable carbon credit NFTs. Their platform uses AI to verify the sustainable action, then issues the person carbon credit NFTs that can be traded. The goal is to reward everyday individuals for their sustainability efforts. Judges expressed admiration for the project's passion and approach, but they noted the complexity of establishing credible verifications for individual carbon saving activities. For this to work, there would need to be a robust set of checks and systems to make sure the data the individual is providing is actually trustworthy. Judging suggested further development to refine AI verification and real world integration. BroLab placed second in the real world applications track with their solution, IOTA Carbon Credit. And I like the name of this team, bruv. BroLab. Now, BroLab developed the IOTA Carbon Credit. 
a platform designed to provide trust, transparency, and efficiency in the carbon credit market. They tokenize verified carbon credits as unique tokens on IOTA, enabling instant transparent trading, automated retirement, and NFT certified proof of climate action. Judges found Bro Labs concept timely and promising due to the project's approach to integrating accredited carbon credit providers into their platform using APIs. This is something that could work as a reliable bridge for Web3 carbon credit adoption. However, concerns were raised about how to ensure genuine trust and verification of credits that are issued from centralized authorities. Those authorities may have their own proprietary methods that they keep secret for carbon credit allocation. Font Labs placed third in the tooling and infrastructure track with their solution MoveCall. Font Labs developed MoveCall, a security focused protocol that enhances the safety and reliability of blockchain services like oracles, bridges, and reward providers. MoveCall's main functionality is to allow token holders to restake their tokens. This would allow developers to deploy projects without having to set up their own validator infrastructure. Judges appreciated Font Labs' technical depth and comprehensive solution, but raised concerns about the economic viability and risks associated with restaking models, which have seen limited market success elsewhere. They encourage the exploring of alternative security collateral models that are aligned with IOTA's scalable architecture. And they suggested pivoting the restaking idea to better fit the IOTA ecosystem's unique strengths. Cordial Systems placed second in the tooling and infrastructure track with their solution, IOTA Move IDE, an AI-assisted, integrated development environment, which is built for writing, testing, publishing, and auditing Move smart contracts on the IOTA network. Their platform simplifies contract creation with AI-generated code templates, interactive testing, documentation access, and automated security auditing features to support Move developers. Their solution is built specifically for the IOTA ecosystem so that IOTA builders can generate, test, deploy, and audit Move contracts. The IOTA Move IDE also streamlines a connection to the IOTA Blockchain Explorer for contract validation and verification. Judges appreciated the practical value of an AI-powered IDE tailored for IOTA's Move smart contracts noting it addresses a real developer pain point. The integration of AI in contract generation and auditing was praised as innovative. However, it was recognized as a work in progress, needing enhanced context, iterative improvements, and enriched testing to reach its full potential. Support for further development was encouraged. I just want to pause and say I really like this. I'm not saying anyone can just one-shot move development with AI, but having a platform that makes development less painful is definitely a plus. So hopefully Cordial Systems continues to develop IOTA Move IDE to become a robust platform that lowers the hurdles for builders, especially developers who are fluent in other programming languages and want to bring their expertise to move chains like IOTA. Peridot Labs placed third in the decentralized finance AI track with their solution Peridot a cross-chain lending and borrowing platform that connects multiple EVM and non-EVM blockchains. It simplifies asset management by enabling lending, borrowing, and yield generation seamlessly across multiple chains. Peridot integrates IOTA as a potential hub chain due to its high speed and ultra low gas fees. Peridot is using bridges like Wormhole and Chainlink's CCIP to connect IOTA with other blockchains for smooth asset transfers. Judges noted Peridot's strong focus on improving user experience for Web3 beginners, especially Web2 users, as being a key differentiator. However, they raised questions about managing cross-chain latency and competing with existing cross-chain DeFi ecosystems, ending with a positive nod to Peridot's innovative model. Now to the winners. OG builders took the top spot of the tooling and infrastructure track with their solution, IOTA Flow a decentralized token management infrastructure that enables the automated vesting, locking, and distribution of tokens. It provides customizable linear token schedules or even the more complex vesting schedules that a project might incorporate as part of their tokenomics. So this makes it easy for projects to do their airdrop management and provide verifiable order trails for their community to investigate, 
The judges praised OG Builders for addressing a significant community pain point with a scalable and transparent solution. They highlighted the project's potential as a public good and noted their toolkit is essential for ecosystems. The team was encouraged to undergo further audits and continued development. As well as being recognized for solid execution and contributions are already underway within the IOTA community. And on a personal note, yeah, I had to manually distribute rewards as part of my NFT project, The New Elites, and that was painful. So having tools like IOTA Flow definitely would make things a lot easier. And winning the top spot of the decentralized finance and AI track is Omnion, a decentralized AI powered lending protocol on the IOTA network. It enables users to borrow crypto by supplying their own crypto as collateral. The Omnion platform integrates AI to deliver personalized email notifications that informs users of their lending and borrowing positions, and it gives them advice on risk management based on what is happening on chain. Now on DeFi platforms, the management of loan to value ratios, the key element that influences borrowing health, can be a complex experience and require continual attention. And many users lack the time and focus to do this effectively. The consequence is that people might miss liquidation events or engage in inefficient borrowing, especially for users new to DeFi or without the advanced technical skills to be able to do this effectively. And I feel like this is describing me. So I'm very interested. You know, I'd like to engage more in DeFi, but I'd also like to know what I'm doing and not get wrecked. So judges commended Omnion for creating an original, fully built lending protocol with AI-driven notifications. They praised the team for not merely forking existing solutions. The integration of AI for risk management and user alerts was praised as an innovative step forward. However, they emphasized the importance of thorough audits and encouraged further development partnerships to mature the Omnion platform for broader adoption. And yeah, personally, I'm looking forward to seeing this come online. I think it's a good development considering DeFi is one of IOTA's future focuses. Now to Auto IOTA, the winner of the overall third price and second place of the decentralized finance AI track. Auto IOTA is an AI driven DeFi portfolio management platform that offers DeFi insights, including intelligent optimization and whale tracking. The team have combined Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro AI with IOTA to deliver predictive analysis, personalized financial analysis, and automated portfolio rebalancing. Auto IOTA simplifies access to complex DeFi protocols with an intuitive interface. This gives users a bit more power to make informed decisions while maintaining full control of their assets. And the situation is DeFi users face information overload complex risk management tasks and technical barriers that stop most people from doing effective portfolio management, especially for new users. So many investors, people like me, lack the time or expertise to monitor 24 seven market dynamics. And this leads to suboptimal investment decisions and missed opportunities because markets are so highly volatile, where Auto IOTA's AI driven decision making can step into Maybe automate that process. Judges praised Auto IOTA's innovative integration of AI with DeFi portfolio management, emphasizing its potential to empower non expert users. They were impressed by Auto IOTA's list of comprehensive features. However, challenges still remain around integrating centralized exchange APIs, something that is important to consider when prepping the platform to evolve for broader adoption. On a personal note, I'm excited about this. There is so much jargon in DeFi, man, like I don't know what V2 is and I don't want to know. <laughs> so, you know, so there are so many angles that I would find it much easier to engage in DeFi if there was an AI agent to guide me through it. But I don't know, maybe I'm too trusting with AI, but I'm definitely going to give it a go. You know, start with a, a little bit of money, set a low target of 2% profit per day, you know, compounding over one year. I'd be a very rich boy by the end of it. So I'm excited to see this one with Auto Iota. Figo is the winner of the overall second prize and the winner of the payment and consumer app track. Figo is a dApp that adds a new level to physical collectibles. It creates digital assets on Iota 
and associates them with physical real world items. I think they call them fidgetals, those crazy kids. Now collectors can scan NFC tagged figures, mint them as dynamic NFTs and store them in their wallet. The platform offers an innovative experience for organizing, showcasing and gamifying physical real world collections in the digital space. Physical collectible figures often lack digital interaction and ownership verification, limiting how far trading and engagement can go. The disconnect between tangible collectibles and digital experiences results in missed opportunities for collectors who desire interactive, verifiable and engaging collectibles beyond just having them on display somewhere. Judges found Figo's integration of NFC and blockchain to be innovative recognizing the potential to revolutionize collectible experiences. However, they noted the challenge of partnering with manufacturers to embed the actual NFC chips into the collectibles. So they suggested considering services for adding tags to existing collectibles. Also pointing out the importance of providing incentives for adoption and spending some time developing viable monetization strategies. On a personal note, I really think something like this can push gaming forward. Collectibles are a massive market in every vertical, you know, even from trading card games to plushy toys or whatever. And I agree with the feedback. I think if you could figure out a model where players and collectors get rewarded in a digital system, where they can only engage in that digital system with a physical item, then yeah, it's definitely an angle that would have some pretty huge upside potential. And now to Hyper Agile the first prize overall winner and the winner of the real world applications track. Hyper Agile offers a middleware as a service solution that bridges legacy industrial robotic systems with IOTA. Their platform enables seamless integration of warehouse robotics, providing transparent track and trace capabilities and on-chain order trails with potential to automate warehouse operations and provide more security and potential for scalability. Hyper Agile leverages IOTA to record real-time warehouse operations. It tokenizes robots and inventory as digital twins and ensures permissioned access control. This means that tasks can be assigned via the IOTA DLT with robot activities and lifecycle reports stored on chain. So imagine a smart contract executed on IOTA triggering robotics actions. Judges praised the innovative integration of physical robotics with blockchain for industrial use, particularly the novel approach of tokenizing robots and physical assets. They identified machine-to-machine -machine interaction as a cutting-edge use case, but highlighted the need for pilot programs to validate market demand. And personally, I got really excited when I saw the machine-to-machine -machine economy idea pop up, as this is something that I originally thought was a really cool idea when I first bought IOTA back in 2018. So anything that takes us back to that DNA is really exciting for me. Even if the scope is now really broad for IOTA, I think it's great to have little pockets still ingrained in what could potentially be a huge integrated market in the future. I'm talking specifically robotics, AI, and IoT. And this project also showcased some pretty impressive proof of concepts. So there it is, the Southeast Asia Movathon uncovered a promising cohort of projects. Each team pushed themselves really hard to deliver IOTA focused innovations. And I have to commend them on their presentations because for sure it would have been really nerve wracking to give their presentations in English, considering it may not be their native language. So kudos to everyone involved and I hope to see these projects make it to the IOTA mainnet one day. And for those of you out there who are encouraged to see hackathons, there will be another hackathon. I think Movathon is going to be the uh, the brand from now on, specifically focused on the MENA region, MENA being the Middle East and North Africa. Okay, and that's it for now. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all very soon.